Welcome to this next chapter. Now we will talk about multiple sub-objects and how you can bring them to the context itself. So what I mean by that is we will go back to our sub-create and here we have just a basic example. We have three grids and we will call this grid, grid yeah, maybe grid or maybe we can use a sphere for a better demonstration and it's a polysphere and here we have a box just the box and now we will merge it together and we will place an output right underneath so this will be our exporter to lobs and what we see right here is we have only one mesh so we are not able to place different materials to the box, to the sphere, which is here inside. Maybe I should move the box right here and or the sphere in that case right here. And as you can see, all these have the same exact um, material. How we can do that? So what you have to do is quite easy you have to place a name attribute. We will um, drop down a name. You can also use a name from group, which is essentially the same. So when you have groups with a specific uh, naming, you can also use this way. And here we will call it, we will call this name attribute grid. So as you can see, we have a new mesh right in here, which is called grid. So now we go over to the sphere and we call the sphere sphere. And as you can see, we have a new mesh called sphere. And of course, we also have a box. And the great thing about that is, of course, we have now no material up, um, assignments. So we will hit the plus button two times more and we will delete our geometry path right here and we will drag and drop this mesh to this entry, to th that entry, and of course to that entry. So, and all what we have to do right now is we have to use more materials. I will go back to the preset browser and we'll take maybe, maybe a glass, and we also want to have some metal. So go back to here, copy it and go back to stage, put it in here. So we have our free materials and we can restart the render just for better viewing. And we will choose the brushed metal and the glass material. So. All of our three objects, excluding the light, maybe we should turn it off, the visibility. So all these materials have now a different uh, material assignments and maybe we should delete the light. So now we have different materials. The other great thing about that is we can now use a transform to move one of those meshes. So we can drag and drop right here. And now we can move only this shape, even when it was combined by the object itself. So you can even animate it. Of course, you should try to not animate anything inside of the lobs context, because um, the lobs context itself or Houdini Solaris is not specifically made for animation it's a lighting and layout tool for rendering so you have some limitations on the animation and simulation side this should happening on the sub side itself so but of course you see we can now also move the grid as you can see here and this is really really a great feature so, and this is everything you need to know about the multi-geometry exports.
See you in the next chapter.